Good morning, guys. Bill McMillan here with NDWX.com on Wednesday morning about 7.15 as we record this video for you. And another cold start to the day. Temperatures in the low and mid-30s across central Indiana, so a below normal start to the day. But we're beginning to turn the page to warmer times, and thankfully uh, that will continue as we go through the work rest of the work week. Tell you what, though, it sure has been a cold start to April. Temperatures that are running close to 12 degrees below normal for central Indiana, including Indianapolis. In addition to that, uh, precipitation is running about three inches above normal as well, and an active pattern uh, will set up this weekend. Thankfully, though, we've got several days here, or at least two or three days, where we're going to be mostly dry and warmer. I think a good deal of sunshine can be expected today once we get rid of some of these early morning clouds. We'll, we'll deal with some mid and high level clouds this afternoon, but all in all, temperatures that will go to around 60 degrees uh, for afternoon highs today. That's going to feel mighty nice. And then low 70s on Thursday. I don't have it pulled up here, but mid to upper 70s can be expected on Friday. And again, the balance of the next couple of days will be dry. Uh, we will notice the chance of some showers in here late tonight and very early Thursday. Not a big deal there. I think most of Thursday will be dry as well, and Friday for that matter. Uh, just the chance of a couple of showers here and there, very light showers Friday afternoon. All in all, though, the big story over the next couple of days will be finally the spring-type warmth. Again, 60 today, low 70s on Thursday, and mid to upper 70s on Friday. That's ahead of an approaching storm system that moves in here this upcoming weekend. And we'll notice some gusty winds at times ahead of that storm system and the better chance of showers and thunderstorms that move in here late Friday night into Saturday. We also note that the GFS has trended more towards the uh, more revved up European model uh, that we talked about yesterday. So we're going to uh, deal with heavier rain uh, later into the weekend, into Sunday as well as a, another wave of low pressure moves north along that cold front into the Great Lakes. That will finally pull much colder air in here Sunday night into Monday and allow precipitation to change over to wet snow showers as we start uh, the early uh, stages of next week, along with gusty winds and much colder air. Finally, though, we'll begin to uh, trend drier as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. I will say, though, this is an active pattern, and our next storm system of significance will quickly approach the middle part of next week. It's also going to be a pattern, as we've been discussing, that is much colder than normal as we go through late April as well. In general, probably somewhere between two and two and a half inches of rain can be expected this weekend. There will be some locally, or, uh, locally heavier totals, uh, but that's kind of the best idea right now, and we'll continue to keep you updated on that over the next couple of days. In the meantime, guys, enjoy the dry conditions and the spring-like weather over the next couple of days, and we'll talk with you soon on NDWX.com.